You're watching Chicago's leader in high school sports coverage. This is CN 100. They're uh, uh, really fast on defense and very uh, fast in the backfield and explosive on offense. Uh, very quick tailbacks. Uh, they move those guys to wings and receivers and get them out in space and try to get them the ball. And their quarterback is a, a really wonderful runner and thrower. Uh, a very, very good program. They always have a good offensive line, which they do again this year. And they find ways to generate points and they will move you around and uh, take advantage of mistakes that you make. Very good program, state champions. Uh, very good run pass ratio. Uh, they do a good job of keeping you off balance that way. Uh, defense very aggressively, sending people from all over the place. It really keeps you on your toes. We've played in the last three years now who, you know, we beat them and the following week they win and they beat good teams. And so they rebound awfully well. They learn a lot. They're extremely well coached. And uh, I'm sure that we are going to get uh, you know, a very, very tough Clumbard North team that will, uh, you know, show why they've been the DBC champion the last two years. Welcome to Carroll Stream, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week tonight from Glenbard North High School. It's Batavia versus Glenbard North. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney, along with Jack McInerney, in a battle tonight between two teams that are longtime powerhouses in their respective classes, but both teams coming in after losing on the opening weekend last week. Jack, let's talk about Batavia first. Defending 6A champions, they lost on an untimed play against a very good Oswego team last week. They want to get it back going in the right direction. Well, they do, but they're still unsettled, Jim. A play, you know, we'll find out. They're obviously playing with two quarterbacks. They're still making a decision. They use them in different packages. Last week wasn't a total loss, excuse the pun, because they played a real tough football team. They scored a lot of points. Last year, if you remember, they lost one game and ended up 13-1 and won the state championship. Glenbard North, two years from removed from a trip to play for a state championship. They got to the second round last year. They opened up the season by playing Centerville, Ohio, an out-of-state opponent, close game, but they lost. But really, if you look at Glenbard North's schedule, I don't want to say must win, Jack, but they need a win tonight. Well, they really do, and of course, for the last two years, they've been undefeated in this very tough DuPage Valley Conference. But this win sometimes can be a defining moment for a program. As you remember last year, they lost to Batavia in the very first game here, and then they went on to win nine games in a row. So it, it's going to be a big game for them tonight, but they're certainly capable. Third down, Nemec, straight drop back, looks, delivers, he throws, he has a completion. And taking off for the end zone after the catch is Kanan Coffey. Touchdown. He's in. Batavia strikes first. The Bulldogs lead at 6 0, a 36 yard scoring play. See right here, he just keeps the ball alive. Nice drop by Coffey, a nice move after the catch. Oftentimes, you, you judge a receiver on what he does after the catch. Yardage made after the catch. Hodges is the eye back, Warnicky is the fullback. They'll go with Hodges, right side, has a little bit of room and has an opening, he's into the secondary. Now he's trying to get to the sideline. Wow, wow he's fast. Woo. And he'll go all the way. So Glenbard North, they got their stop on defense, and then on their first play from scrimmage, 71 yards for Devion Hodges, and the Panthers were dormant in the first half, and now they're right back in it. Well, here's your drive summary. One play, 71 yards, Devion Hodges. And just, he got to the outside and just started flat out outrunning people. Just an ex excellent run right there, but he showed you the speed. He, he flashed last week. He led the team in rushing with 95 yards and a touchdown. And he shows that burst right there. And actually, he was out angled right there by the safety, and he just outran him. Might be singled up over there. Acosta, deep drop, gonna be way back, looking that way, down the middle of the field, and oh, somehow God. it's caught in the middle of the field by Albanese. Three players around him, and he catches the football. Wow. Second time in two games, Jack. A ball that should never have been thrown that works out fine. Three players right there. Well, he's six foot four, and the other defenders are all under six foot. Boy, it Great concentration. Like Glenbard North has to be very, very careful here. If you don't get the first, punt it away. Don't take a sack. Oh. And he's being flushed out of the end zone. He can't ground it, and it's a safety. Fourth sack of the game for the Batavia Bulldogs. Lava got there. Joey Gross was there as well. And Batavia leads at 16-6.
They're all on the right side. You can see right here. He's going. He's just almost stumbles there. There's no receivers. He's got nothing to do. So probably a half of a sack for Joey Gross and a half of a sack for Lava if you're scoring at home. Quarterback draw, he ran into Warnicky and oh my gosh, he's gonna Ooh. throw it. Puts it up for grabs, why he not? He got it. And he completed he it, it down to the three yard line, what a play. <laughs> now, Glenbar North, a chance to pop it into the end zone before this thing is this over. This is what happens when he have, has an athlete back there that's got great feet, can keep the play alive. Just throws it down there. Bounces off his own fullback. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.